Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about what's on my shelf because I think it says a lot about the person I am and that's why I want to share more with you. So here's the top 10 things I got in that wall. Right, number one. Now, you may be asking, as a diver, why would I have a cricket bat in the wall? Now, aside from the fact it's very Australian, I actually had a show on KO about the T20 World Cup with cricket, and this was a little souvenir I took home from the whole event. <laughs> Can I say, we did that so many times on the show, and one day I actually hit someone with the ball pretty hard, and because it was live, I had to like pretend it was fine and just keep going, but everyone backstage thought I'd smashed one of the cameras or TVs, but it was just one of my teammates. <laughs> a few of these things are hidden quite deep in here. Now this may just look like a normal fan, but at the Olympics, when I was making videos about the air conditioning dripping on Cass, they came to fix it in like a team of five. Now, we actually traded, I gave them one of my Australian fans, because we were going to Japan, they gave us fans as part of the kit, and they traded me one of theirs after they fixed the air conditioning. So, it's a little reminder of their help, and also, another way to stay cool. That is nice that it's hot today. You can tell I haven't touched some of the things in there for ages, because look at the... Look at the dust on that thing. Now, every Australian kid that's gone through year seven knows that you have to make one of the wooden boxes. So this is the box I made in wood tech. And on the front, because we use the, I think it's the laser. It's like the laser car to do one of the designs. Tim's giving me the head nod there. <laughs> so we use the laser color to do some of the designs and I put the most important things to me at the time, which is N Swiss, diving, the Olympics and Trinity, which is where I went to school. Now, I think you meant to do joints, but on the bottom, probably ran out a bit of time and just opted for a few nails. Works just as well. Put down below if you made a box in year seven. Back when I was very young, my coach at the Institute for Nick Arlo used to make a calendar with all the photos from the previous year. But the next year, there's me right there with another one of my coaches, Thomas Rickards. It's really nice because a lot of the photos in here are from some of my closest mates and people I've known for nearly a decade. Here's some photos, that was when we all went out to try tennis, junior world championships, and just the team going out. Now, I was like the only guy in the team for a while. So that was in Kuala Lumpur, it's with the head of diving Australia, Steve Foley, and that would have been a junior national. So it's really nice, wholesome. I actually forgot I had this one. Now, you guys might have remembered back in the Olympics, we had to do COVID tests every single day and we had to spit in these things first thing in the morning before you ate after you woke up all the way up to that line then you had to go and put them in and just hope that no one contacted you because no news is good news and the last thing you wanted to do was be ripped off the olympic team but it was all good but i kept one just to remember the crazy times that we went through now something you might not know about me is as a kid growing up i actually played soccer and i loved it i, I really enjoyed the sport i played futsal after that and I stopped it because I had to put all my focus into diving to try and make the Olympics, but it was a sport I really enjoyed. And when I'm done diving, I reckon I might just join my local club and play for fun for a bit. Under six. Yeah, I think these are participation awards. <laughs> this funny looking banana comes from the Australian Sports Integrity. And basically we have to be so careful as athletes of everything we eat, including all protein powders, because some of them have banned substances. So protein powders that we do use have to be batch tested and go through a certain process, but they always do like bi-yearly, what are they called? But they always do bi-yearly presentations about making sure you put food first. So I got some questions right and won the fake banana. Now this is my Australian sports medal. Now we got awarded this after our competition at the Commonwealth Games. And basically I believe that the ASM, Australian Sports Medal, goes onto your name. So it can be Sam Fricker, ASM. I was really proud to receive this one. And they've given you a nice big one and a small one that you can put on your suit jacket. And that's kind of when you wear them. These two kind of go hand in hand. I did finish high school. I went to Trinity Grammar School through my whole high school career. They really looked after me with all my sport. Mum got me this one when I graduated. Bit of dust on his head, but it's always a nice paper, piece of paper there keep on your wall. I'm not sure when I'd need it because no one really asked for you. Do they, Tim? I've never really gone for a job. I work for myself. <laughs> Don't say that. Is this sensitive information? So this little rock, more than just a rock, it's got $1 written on it. When I was younger, 
I used to want to make a bit of money, you know, so I could buy a lolly at the shops. And my dad used to bury these rocks deep in the sand pit, and then he'd make me go and find them. And if I found them and presented them to him, he'd give me the money worth on the rock. And he was trying to teach me that I had to work hard to get my money. And uh, that's what I did. Some of them had 20 cents written on them. Bit low, I reckon. A lot of work digging out that sand, but a dollar, very good nonetheless. But yeah, with inflation, I think this rock's probably worth more than the money. <laughs> Here's me a little samurai sword I got from Japan. I love these little things. If you're one of my friends watching, you probably got one of these, and that's because I love them so much. I was like, I have to share this experience with everyone. They are incredible. Tim, do you want one? Another thing that I love to keep, I have a lot over there. It's all my competition lanyards. So I got my two most important here. This one's from the Olympic Games, which was super sensitive. You wouldn't be able to look at that during the Olympics. We're meant to blur them out. And the Commonwealth Games one. And actually at the Commonwealth, there was a few times I posted the photo where you could see this and I got a call from someone on the team. And I had to take it down and blur it out because this during the actual event is pretty sensitive. And I still have my room key on the back of the Commonwealth one and uh, I was meant to give it back. So they charged me. Thank God DA covered it. Thank you DA. Now, of course, there's a lot of medals up on my wall. This is where I keep my most important ones. Everything from my junior world medal in Kiev, Ukraine. We have, of course, my Commonwealth Games medal from Birmingham in the UK and my Australian champion medal for synchro with my man Xixing. We got two of those now. <laughs> so when it comes to the Olympics, they do give you this massive boarding pass. And I did ask the question, do I need this at the airport? The answer is no, it's actually not valid just for the show. And on the way back, we actually got, of course, the physical ticket. And I flew over to Darwin because we had to quarantine for two weeks, which was a very interesting experience straight after the Olympic Games, the coolest thing in the world, to one room where you can't move out and can't dodge your food. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate your support. Put down in the comments if you have any other questions about what's on the shelf. And of course, like, subscribe, but don't put on the bell because I post way too many shorts.